Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand multi programming operating system. The brief explanation about multi programming operating system has already been made in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Let's try to understand what is meant by multi programming operating system. So, the name itself is stating that multiple programs will get executed on a computer simultaneously so how that happens let's try to understand that by using a real world example for example if you take a laptop or a computer uh, we can execute multiple programs simultaneously here we are trying to write a letter on the word document and we are trying to listen to music so this is one program this is another program we are trying to listen to music simultaneously while writing the letter and also we we will be able to download the movie uh, on our uh, uh, browser so all these three jobs are done simultaneously but as we have stated that we will be having only one cpu and only one program will get executed at any point of time how that how is it possible to get that simultaneous execution effect that we will try to understand so how is how is it possible is it is because of the speed of the cpu the rate at which the central processing units are executing these days because of that speed of the central processing unit we will be able to get that effect of multi programming what does that mean is for example if you take uh, a, a, a i7 processor so i7 processor with a, a clock speed of 2.2 gigahertz for example if this is the speed of the i7 processor what does this mean is nearly 1 billion instructions will get executed per second an i7 processor with a capacity of 2.2 gigahertz clock speed of 2.2 gigahertz it is capable of executing 1 billion instructions per second can you imagine the speed of that computer it is very faster okay so we are trying to utilize that speed of the processor and we we were trying to make the uh, we are we are trying to create that effect of multi programming how that is done how that is done is for example if you are executing all these three programs on the computer so this word document will get executed on the cpu for just for 100 milliseconds so within that one single second so this is just this is little bit of exaggeration so i for understanding i have get taken it as a 100 milliseconds but in reality it is not going to be 100 milliseconds okay for understanding i have taken it so what i am trying to make you understand is uh, for 100 milliseconds this word document the programs the instructions related to the word document will get executed after 100 milliseconds the music player will get executed after another so after that uh, uh, next 100 milliseconds the movie will get downloaded and similarly it is going to rotate again again word document will get executed and after that music player and these programs will get executed on the cpu just for 100 milliseconds now as it is working at a speed of uh, very very much faster rates the cpus are getting executed at a very faster rate one single within one within one single second these 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 many programs are getting executed okay as as a human being we cannot sense that the the rate at which the cpu is getting executed so you try to understand so within the within that one one second multiple programs are getting executed but our brain cannot sense a, the rate at which those programs are getting executed so that is the reason why we are getting the effect of multi programming as we said that multiple programs will get simultaneously but in reality it is not simultaneously one after the other the programs will get executed but because of the speed of the central processing unit i am stressing this point again and again because this point is very much important to understand uh, very much important to understand because the entire course is based upon this concept of multi programming okay so so we are getting that effect of multi programming but they, the processes will not get executed simultaneously the processes will get will get executed one after the other 
okay so this is what we call it as multi programming operating system and one more concept to understand in multi programming is for example if we are downloading a movie as we are downloading the movie it will get processed and uh, that downloaded movie has to be stored onto the hard disk so cpu will process the download movie and it will send it to the hard disk now this is what we call it as an io device the hard disk is called as io device the io device means it is input output device and as we also we already note that in the computer organization we have seen that the memory hierarchy resistors will work very faster they will work at a rate of cpu cpu speed uh, near to that cpu speed and after that ram ram will get very uh, will work faster when compared with hard disk and after ram hard disk will work so as the movie is getting downloaded onto the hard disk it is it will take lot amount of time so when the movie is getting copied onto the uh, getting copied onto the hard disk the cpu will sit idle it will not it will not have any job so in that place also we can execute at that point of time where the io operations are going on we can execute another processes try to get this point so this is how this is the reason why so in order to utilize the cpu pro, cpu speed efficiently we are creating that effect of multi programming because while the programs are getting executed they will take multiple io operations so copying the content onto the hard disk or getting the content from the hard disk to the ram so this is where the io operations will happen for example if you print a document that printer is an io device on that printer to print a document on the printer it will take lot amount of time for example if you if it takes 5 seconds or 5 uh, 5 uh, seconds of time to print one paper so can you imagine what what the cpu will do for that 5 seconds it will sit idle right so in order to utilize the cpu resources efficiently we can execute another program on the central processing unit so this is how the concept of multi programming came into existence so hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching